what just being able to just walk through this room and see and kind of look back and think back to what it was like from the beginning until now. What does that mean to you? Um, sort of give you chills sometimes to think of uh, all the times that you'd sacrifice so much to go out on, on a road or take a long trip, uh, you know, Chicago or Toronto or Winnipeg or any place that we had to go to play hockey. And um, as much work as that was and as dedicated as he was, it was this thing that you'll never, ever be at again. And it's so, it's so um, the sentimental value of that is just amazing. So, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Is there a piece of memorabilia in here that for you stands out above all the rest? Just for its senti- you know, sentimental value? Um, probably some of the early things were um, really important. You know, when they, uh, when they first started playing travel, and I mean, that's a banner that they had, and it was kind of behind here now. But first started to play travel, though, you know, they, they were young and they were fun, and they weren't, it wasn't all about competition and winning, it was about you know, having fun, and they were young, and um, those kinds of things are the memories that we really remember. To see, to see him now, to be able to add some Olympic memorabilia into this room, what would that mean to you? Well, that's all right, you know, that's still, it still doesn't even set in completely. I know that when he steps on the ice, it will. Uh, we do have some, some things like this. This picture here from the Deutschland Cup with a USA jersey. And in fact, I have that very jersey in the other room. But um, to add that kind of memorabilia, it just shows how dedication and hard work can pay off. What, I guess, what made him so dedicated, so hardworking? Everybody I've spoken to says the same thing. He just went about his business in a professional mm-hmm. manner, even at a young age. I, you know, I don't know what it was, uh, other than the fact that... Um, when you're raised in, in, in a uh, middle-class family that has to work for everything, that's kind of how you learn things have to be. You know, and, and that's how we always were, so he kind of picked up on that, and I'm um, very proud of that. So at this, has it even sunk in yet? No. They, not I mean, that he's going to play? Not completely. It's still surreal. I mean, and, and it, it should have sunk in by now because the rumors had started last summer, and, um, and it looked like it was going to happen, but it still hadn't started and it set in yet, and... Once he's on the ice, it will. Will it bring you back to this room? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, I have jerseys on the wall there from his years in Finland, three years there, and two years in Jokorat, and those kinds of things just show the journey. You know, you go from this wall from squirt B and squirt A travel all the way around to the second best league in the world right there. So. And you got to feel like, did you ever imagine when he first started playing so many years ago that it would... Never. It would turn into this? Not even close. Not even close. And, and I guess you know, that's, that's the thing that amazes me the most is that um, everywhere he's gone, he has done something great, something that's been better than what's been done before. And it just keeps happening over. And you always wonder, when does it end? But he, he doesn't. He just keeps going from one thing to the next. And um, it's just amazing. And he, and it obviously become a big fan, a big, huge fan now. So... Instead of being dad anymore, it's the biggest fan, so it's fun to watch. 